Was it actually issued to you? You... What are you doing here? Well, I kinda live here. What are you doing here? I'm delivering a suit for a client. I believe it's for his nephew. Wait, you... You're him? Yeah, it's probably for me. Or it may not be. The only thing that I'm sure of is you're you. Am I right? Are you Nagorny or not? I'm Artemyev. I'm the nephew of Nagorny. We're not closely related, but I'm his favorite. Please, come inside. Don't be shy. Well, at best, you're somewhat related to a great person. This actually explains a lot. Mm, what do you mean? It explains why you didn't go to the fountain. Actually, I was around there at around seven. Really? Of course, yeah. I waited until the park closed, until I was chased out of there. You're lying, I can tell. I was there at half past seven and you weren't there. Why were you there early when we agreed to meet at seven, hmm? So where do you live? At the school dormitory? Why do you ask? I asked because I want to restore world peace. I want to know where you live. So is that all right? Oh wait, should I try them on? I want to know if it'll fit my beautiful muscular figure because I have disproportionately long legs and so I can't wear slacks. Listen to me, Mr. Artemyev. I'm sick and tired of your jokes. I'll give you the money for the shoes. Please sharpen your wit on someone else. No, hey, wait up. I wasn't actually at the fountain yesterday. But seriously, I need to try on those slacks. На небе выткал золотой осенней ниткой Я послал тебе открытку В ней два слова, не грусти Но ползла она улиткой И плыла по морю рыбкой Не спеша, не слишком прытка Я и сам уже в пути Здравствуй, счастье В белом платьице простом Здравствуй, счастье Я прошу лишь об одном Здравствуй, счастье Ты прости меня, прости Здравствуй, счастье Больше не грусти Delicate Matters Episode 2 No, no, we really don't mind setting them aside for you Yes, ma'am Are you Nazarov? Where shall I put this? Uh, uh, yes, of course Sure, sure Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, not you! Come back! Uh, I'm terribly sorry about this. I was talking to someone else. Let me call you back. Who's it for? I don't know. He made a mistake. He said it's for Nazarov, the guy left in a rush. Hey, don't touch that. It's not for you. Put it down. It says to my Tatiana. <sighs> but Nazarov, right? Is this your room? Why do you ask? Because there's a huge mirror. Uh, do you honestly think that the first thing I do in the morning is stare at myself in the mirror? What's the matter? I have this book wherein the main character was wrongly perceived by the people. But then, he managed to prove that they were wrong about him. That's funny. Are you referencing a children's book to defend yourself? Well, maybe I am. Don't you find it cute? Do you know when a person starts maturing? No. You would know when he starts lying to your face. Well, I always thought it's when he starts sewing his own suits. Maybe I don't want any of these. I don't want any of these clothes. Or even this big mirror. Who knows? Maybe I want to be a seasoned sailor. I'll dive for pearls and give them to women. Is that what you really want in life? Oh, I think you misunderstood what I said. No one really understands me. I understand you. Actually, I often imagine this woman. She's stepping out on the stage in Paris, and she's wearing a red dress. 
And then when she walks, her dress flows freely like water. It accentuates every curve on our body, except... Except... Except that such material doesn't exist yet. It's just too bad that no one has invented it yet. Maybe someday. So are you that woman? Oh, no, no. A model. Only the dress is mine. Come on, let's move to Paris then. Let's pack our bags so we can leave tomorrow. We're going to live in a lighthouse. I dive for pearls and then you'd use them on your designs. What do you think? <laughs> so there's a sea in Paris? Oh, that's irrelevant. <laughs> If I continue to stay here, I'd be living someone else's life. I'd slack around or work at a job that I don't like. So shall we go? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Oh, I guess I am the biggest liar in the world. Yes, you keep lying to yourself. Hello? Hello. I thought you said you were busy today. Well, I left work early. I wanted to surprise you. I got this for you. Oh, wow. Thanks for this. So, yeah. I knew you wanted to celebrate with some important people. Why is your hair so messy? Listen, Natalia. Today's not a good time. Let's do this another day. Is there someone in there? Is someone with you? You better leave now. Ah, you two are celebrating. Natalia, we had an agreement. You and I are... Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Of course I get it. We have an open relationship. Hey, can you hand me I'm... Towel? I'm not hurt. You can drink that on your own. Goodbye. Just stand still. Don't move. Please be careful. Stop messing with me. <laughs> What's wrong? Give me that pen. Stop. Give it. No. Give it. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Stop. <laughs> Vladimir? Who is she? Um, uh, she's a seamstress. She's getting my measurements. I guess we're done here. It fits you perfectly. I guess they're fine. Thanks. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait up. I want to have a word with you. You know, you look so innocent. I never thought of you as a... as a homewrecker. <laughs> homewrecker? Hold on, did someone call me here? Even better, someone sent you flowers. <gasps> Nina took the flowers, but I wanted to talk to you first before she calls you in her office. Look, he was the one hitting on me. You know perfectly well that the guy is already married. You even dressed this girl. Wait, what do you mean? She doesn't get it. It's the general's girl. Do you understand it now? What's that got to do with him? Okay, wait. Who are you referring to? Who exactly was hitting on you? No one. You're really unpredictable, aren't you? Before we know it, she'll have all the men around here. Stop gossiping around. Nazarov, in my office now. Go on.
when you were hired here, I remember we did inform you that we have high-value clients and that you must all treat them accordingly. But it seems that you didn't understand our rules. Miss Nina, please listen. It must be some mistake. Perhaps you sent the same thing to every girl working here. Do you really think so? Even this love letter? Now I'm finding it weird. Well, I do understand you. I know you were just trying to be polite and Stipun mistook your politeness. He must have thought that you're interested in him. Isn't that right? You must learn how not to lead men on. Miss Nina, I want you to know that I'm here for work and not to find love. Keep that in mind and make sure that everyone knows about it, especially our male clients. Thank you. <sighs> Go and find your happiness, dear. But don't look for it in this place. <laughs> Mom doesn't like Kev and Dad doesn't like Prague. But they both insist that we should get a cake that's chocolate flavor. But then they said we shouldn't get one with chocolate filling. It's just brown bread. <laughs> and it's not festive, so I guess, yeah, it's a disaster. Well, I got an idea. What? Just trust me on this. What? <clears throat> hey, Vladimir, what are we doing here? Shut up! He's going to be back here, and he's going to think that we left already. The first cake that he'll lay his hands on would be the best cake. It's a great idea, am I right? This is stupid. Let's just go. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Close your eyes now. If you're gonna smash a cake in my face, please nod the Kiev. Silly boy, just trust me, okay? <laughs> All right, then. I think Mom will love that. Are we able to mix these two together? Like, are we able to put them in layers? Let me check on it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you have some first? Well, I'm not the star of this wedding. Well, for me, you are. I want her family to enjoy this. In fact, I can't wait for this to be over. Really? Of course. I can't wait to get rid of all the guests. Our extended family and all those ceremonies. You want them gone? Not really. What I mean is I want to be able to live on my own terms. I want to have my own life. You know, free from any sort of constraints. I want to have my own kids. Well, two kids. I really want to have kids before I turn 25, you know? I think that's awesome. Really? Of course. I mean, the two-in-one cake. I'm not too sure about your plans in life, though. That's lovely. What is it? Curiosity killed Tatiana the cat. I heard that it was just a cat. Seriously, what is it? If you guess it right, I'll tell you. I've had enough of guessing games. The Ministry of Civil Aviation decided to change the attendance uniforms. This is going to be presented tomorrow. Bloodgolf doesn't want me to go there. But why? Because he wants a spotlight all to himself. I'm just a guy who fixes all his clothes. Hey, listen, probably Enough. I can- Why don't you be more useful and go make us some tea? Ah, uh, it's all useless anyway. Do you honestly think they'd be able to wear a skirt that narrow, huh? They would look like a penguin while walking down the catwalk. I thought you were gonna make tea. Why don't you do it? Fine, I'll do it! I have to go. I'll call you. How can I help you? I'd like to check if all the arrangements have been made for the upcoming show. Almost. Let me show you the designs. Here um, you go. 
That's really good to know. Here's another one. Please take a look. I think it fell out. Thank you. Uh-huh. In Great Britain? I suppose their whiskey must be really good. <laughs> we thought you wanted to go there because of the tea. In America, they love wearing jeans. Diplomats don't wear jeans, so I'd reconsider that if I were you. Mm, well, how about France? Well, over there they eat croissants and baguettes. You'll gain a lot of weight. <laughs> All right then, I'd go to Italy. The climate there is just amazing. And you, Vladimir, where do you plan to work? In the USSR. <sighs> I'll relax. This isn't a meeting or something. Of course I'm relaxed. Have you seen the sea in Murmansk? It's one of a kind. It's a nice cold port all year round. What more does a person need, right? Everybody needs something else. <sighs> Why focus on material things? I think you'd be a great bourgeois. And what are you, a builder of a bright future? Is that it? I'll take that as a compliment. All right then, I'm off to school. Don't miss me too much. All right, take care. Aren't you going to the restaurant with Stipun? No, I'm not. Damn. Why? No, it's just that I realize that it's not very nice to keep a very important person waiting. And for someone his age, it's not good to worry. So which restaurant, maybe... Maybe you should at least call them. I don't remember. I threw out the note. Do you really think what I did was rude? Well, a little. You can say sorry to him. You can just make up stories, tell him you wanted to go, but you can't. Then after that, tell him you just want to be friends. If I meet up with him, he might get the wrong impression that I like him. He'll continue hitting on me. And I don't want that to happen. Just reject him then. It's an art, you know. You want me to teach you? However, the problem is, the guy's already out there waiting for you. I haven't thought about this enough. I have an idea. What if we send someone there, just to apologize? Say, you can't go. But who? And where? Do you think you can do it? Me? Yes. No, that's a bad idea. It won't work. What will I tell him? Tell him what you just told me. Make up stories like Tatiana couldn't make it. Tell him he's a valued customer and that he's always welcome here. Think of it this way. He won't hit on you. Well, what if that guy hit on me too? Anyway, I won't allow it. Don't worry, I got this. Uh, but wait, we don't have the address. I know, don't worry about it. Natalia! Natalia! Natalia, look what the cat dragged in! Yes, how can I help you? Are you still mad at me? Well, take a wild guess. I must say, I admire your pride and conviction. All right then, I admit, I made a mistake. But this, on the other hand... Why are you making a scene? Hello, how are you? Mm-hmm. <sighs> and what is that thing? Who allowed you to do that? It's nonsense. As you can see, it's a painting. I'm calling the police. You can explain that to them. Mm -hmm. What is the matter with that guy? I'm coming down! What a stunning painting. If you want, I can draw you sometime. Oh, sure. Well, I suppose you've seen my work on canvases. 
So I figured, this time I'd put it on a wall. Are we okay now? After you. So tell me, would you like to pass a message to my friend Tatiana? Is there anything you want to tell her? I just want to tell her that she is a very good and polite friend. She's so lucky to have you. <laughs> you are so gorgeous. <laughs> very gorgeous. <sighs> I enjoyed your company so much, and I had a great time tonight. It's just too bad that it's over so soon. Right. It's just too bad. Perhaps... You would like to come over to my place? Wait, Mr. Stepoon, no. Oh, we already agreed that you can call me Vasily. Have I mentioned that I have this amazing cider at home? When I was in Pomerania for work, this Frenchman gave me his secret recipe. I'm telling you, you must try it. Vasily, are you sure it's a Frenchman in Pomerania? Do you mean Germany? Or am I mistaken? Oh, we can talk about geography if you want to. <laughs> 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 that would be interesting, as the French him? people say, degustation. <laughs> yes, it's him. You look different when your wife is not around. Do you want to know what I find interesting about eagles? It's how it can stray so far from its nest. <clears throat> we were just talking about work. It's all bureaucracy, and I can't hide from it. All right, now, listen. I already handed in the paperwork, so you're free to go now. But there are some documents missing. <clears throat> I have the quotation, but I believe the folder's in the car. I can't leave without it. I have to go and retrieve it from your car. The Ministry asked me to pick it up. I'm sorry, sir, but I really need that folder. I can't <clears throat> just leave yet. Shall we get it? Uh, excuse us. Please excuse us. Mm, so it's work. Well, you know what? I think you should be a war commander. <laughs> that was pretty convincing. Commanding is my thing, but I'm not sure about being at war. Are you happy now? Trying to play the fool, huh? You didn't think I would notice? I'm speaking to you, young man. Good morning. Hello. Hello, Mr. Gladkov. What seems to be the problem here? Go and ask him that. He played tricks on me. Do you even have an idea what I'm capable of? I can fire you any time. Mr. Gladkov, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Come with me now, or I'll make sure you don't set foot in this office again. Go on. Don't you dare embarrass me here, young man. Everyone, please meet our young talent. This design is great for funerals. Well, don't we need to look good at funerals too? Uh, uh, what I mean is aesthetics don't matter at all when we're up in the air. We need two models. The terracotta one, and one of yours, right? Right. Looks progressive. The color is so bright, I would wear them any time. <laughs> Isn't it too skimpy? Is it possible to walk in that skirt? Yes. Uh, thanks to an additional slit we added to the skirt, it would be easy to move around the plane. We are ready to create a prototype for this design, so you don't have to worry. Our top soldiers in the war and fashion are here to help us. No prototype yet? We'll lose another day. How about we just take the terracotta one? Our head demanded that we provide them with options. Several options. The terracotta design is a no-go. 
Uh, we will have the prototype ready after lunch, isn't that right? For now, please have a seat. We have some matters to discuss. Groom, I need you to smile more. This is a wedding photo shoot. It's not for a passport. Come on. Vladimir, will you relax a bit? Smile. <laughs> I'm saving my smile for our future okay, okay, family. Closer. Looks like you're saving That's your shoes, it. too. Didn't I ask you to wear a decent pair? Well, it's not like you're in a gown. All right, lovebirds. This time around, <laughs> let's do cheek to cheek. Say cheese. There you go. <laughs> so beautiful. Vladimir, we need those trees. Then send an invite. You're so silly. Come on. Okay, kids, get out of here. Get out of here. It's not a sandpit. Come on, come on. It's time to go. It's time to go now. Come on. Leave. Lydia, will you please give those kids a break? No chance. I don't want any silly strangers to be in our photos. Mm-hmm. At least we have someone real in the photos. I'm sorry, what? So you're not being real? <laughs> don't you want to marry me? All right. You're Say crazy, cheese. It's a dream. All right. Very nice. Listen up, Artemis. We're already uh, here. Right, uh, say cheese. Enough is enough. Now I need you to hold hands and smile. You go hold his hand. Uh, uh. What is this? I thought I. You thought what? No, Nazarov, you weren't thinking. You're out of your mind. Hello, good morning. Now Gladkov is on a warpath. Now he's blaming me. He said I made him look like an idiot. Look! He wants this done this very day after lunch. Any suggestions? I just didn't want your efforts to be wasted. And so you decide to paint your own DIY crap on it. Wow, how amazing. Let me take care of everything else so that you can start on the rough draft. I promise, I'll help you with everything. What about the design? What about this? What the heck is that? It's a narrow basque. It, it's like a rocket flame. Did you just say like a rocket flame? So it's a rocket flame? Yeah. So are you gonna help me make this? Yes, I'm going to help you. You did enough. Okay, all right then. Let's sew your rocket skirt, then. Let's hope and pray that it doesn't come apart in inappropriate places. That's not so bad. No, it's bad. It's very bad. It's horrible. Everyone will be able to tell that we rushed making it. And then? There must be something good about this dress. Like, don't you think that its style is ahead of its time? Besides, Gladkov would be chatting with them. They won't even notice. No! Sometimes you just simply need to admit defeat. And also, I'm bad at designing uniforms. It's not my thing. <laughs> Same here. Well, we all knew that from the start. You know what's more, Konstantin? Hello? Yes, hello, and how can we help you? I came here to talk to you. I know you're the best in the industry. Let me explain my situation. I met this girl. And I fell in love with her. This girl completely ignores me. She works in the fashion industry as well, and I guess... She's not impressed with my fashion sense, so I figured... I should change my style. Please have a seat. We can help you. Oh, stop it. All I really need is, um, this one and, uh, this two. Are you sure about that? Thanks. I'll go there and change. Um... Tatiana, do you know him? I don't think so. Oh, well, can you give us a second? I don't think so. All right, up to you if you want to be here. 
Tatiana, I'm... I'm sincerely ashamed of my stupid antics the other day. So please accept my peace offering. I brought this thing for you. It's just a small souvenir. And where did you get that banner from? Uh, on Kirov Street. They used this banner during Workers' Day. I figured it would be great for me to reuse it so it won't be wasted. Don't you agree? Hello. Good afternoon. Your trousers are fine. When you sit like that, does it feel a bit tight? Seriously. If it doesn't feel tight, then that means there's nothing wrong with the stitching. I'm sorry, this doesn't need any alterations. We won't make another one for you either. End of story. Yes, that's right. Please stand up. I don't understand why you're making a scene here. Will you help me get up? <clears throat> See you in that not for me there. <clears throat> Thank you. But I won't just let this slide. Your service needs a little improvement. Tatiana. Again? Of course not, Miss Nina. We just met that guy. We don't know him. He's Nagorni's nephew. Be careful with him. Crazy. Let me repeat myself. They're very busy right now. Call it what you want. They have VIP guests from Civil Aviation. I'm telling you, we're working on something important. Just look at her. Okay. I didn't receive a memo about an upcoming circus. <gasps> Shh. All right. We're gonna wait right here. We're staying, you got it? Take a seat. If they're gonna take so long inside, maybe I can step away for a while. No, not now. I need you to be here. Should I hold your hand too? Of course not, I'm fine. Now that's something. Well, maybe for you this isn't, but for people in there, this is big news. It's a reason to shove me aside. Because for them, sewing is a woman's job. Really? And Cardin? Ah, <sighs> I'd like to see how he would fare in this kind of setting. Believe me, you'd have to wear a skirt for them to take him seriously. I could use your help. You're very friendly. And you're very good at talking to people, so I think you'll be able to... Okay, you're up. Please, come in. Let's go. My dear, I think you've had enough. First of all, don't call me that. Only Vladimir is allowed to call me that. But after the wedding, I'll tell him that I hate it. Another thing. I think they're serving watered-down champagne in here. I'm so sober, and I already drank a lot. Okay. See you around. Bye. So it's wrong here. I'm not an expert on alcohol. But to properly make a wine, you'd need some liquid solution. You'd have to mix up young wine and aged wine, then add yeast and sugar. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm asking about Vladimir. I told you I'll suck the life out of you. Vladimir's a clown. He's all smiles on the outside, 
But believe me, he's a devious bastard on the inside. I think you deserve someone way better. Just stop it. I didn't ask what you needed. I asked about Vladimir's needs. Take me home now. Please. Sure. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll see you. Goodbye. Tatiana, walk them out, please. Uh. Have a seat. Listen. I wanted to apologize. I was wrong. Your design looked decent. They all liked it. <laughs> yes, of course. It can captivate anyone's attention. Did you see their faces when she said that? Um, it's an absolutely useless piece of crap. Stop talking nonsense. If your design wasn't so avant-garde, I would have included it myself. That's not true. You'd be scared that I'll get notice and that I'd leave this place. <sighs> Actually, I'm afraid that you'll never go anywhere. And that you'll incessantly annoy the life out of me. <laughs> Does it hurt? Compared to what? A broken heart? I never wanted to find that out. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault. I was the one who asked you about him. Maybe I was just curious. I was curious because I know that you've known each other for ages. You know him so well. What's up with you, normal people? Vladimir's a normal guy. Did I ruin your party? I do this every time. It's just, I have no one to talk to about him. Not even Kira. I'm sorry if I keep talking about him. And I'm sorry for this too. What are you doing? You have feelings for me and I took advantage of it. That's not what I meant. <sighs> I meant your life. I think you're so... You're special. The likes of you must be hidden away and not paraded around. But he... I'm not making any sense. Actually... You did make perfect sense. I'll never give up on you. Well, I hope so. I don't want to lose you, especially now that Vladimir is about to become a diplomat. He'll leave me soon. He won't become one. But why? <laughs> Maybe he will. With the right woman on his side, anything's possible. Bye, lover boy. See you around. Hey there. Just relax. If you came to apologize, you should have brought flowers for me. I'm only here to say goodbye. And to apologize as well. What's the matter? Have you gone completely insane? It's the opposite. I already bought a ticket to Murmansk. Lydia... I'm really sorry. You and I are just too different. I can tell that you're not happy as well. What's that? You take care of yourself, all right? You deserve the best in life. Or at least a man in a fancy pair of shoes. 
have to go. The sea's waiting for me. Yeah, just go to your little Sahalin. It's Murmansk. Oh, who cares? By the way, I kiss Anton. Hey! How did you find me here? You know you once told me that you live at a school dormitory. So please, next time, be careful about telling strangers about where you live. I think you met with stubborn strangers who give me a hard time, but still keeps on following me around. By the way, what's with a bag? I want to experience how hard it is to carry something heavy. I shoved some bricks in there. You're a joker. It must be fun to live with an attitude like that. Anyway, I'm sorry, but I gotta go now. Hey! Give me a kiss, please. Are you serious? <laughs> this may be the last time that you'll ever see me. Do you think I'm stupid? Have a good night. Young man, be quiet. People are sleeping. I doubt that I could wake them up. Trust me, everyone's different. <sighs> Did something happen? Yeah, how do I put this? I'm marrying this girl, but I'm in love with another one. What are you planning to do? I'll run from both to Murmansk, to the sea. Yes. It's peaceful out there. That's what I heard. Have you been there before, old man? I haven't. Well, I've never left this place, you know. Although there was one time I had to leave for a while. Don't you want to see other places? I do. But I don't want to rush things. I'd suggest the same to you. You're running away from your problems. Problems are like shadows. They follow you around. They'll always be with you. No matter where you go, have a good night. Good luck to you, young man. Your shoes, the one you had on yesterday. And why are you all dressed up? I'm just. I'm going for a stroll. Gleb asked me to pose for a painting after he and Natalia made up. He said it has to be at night, it has something to do with the moon and shadows. Didn't you know that the two of them are an item? I don't really care. He's gonna paint me, and that's it. Yes, he's gonna paint you, and no, you're not going alone. As Natalia's friend, I find that offer very weird, even if he didn't mean anything by it. Hold on, I'll change. He said I must go alone. I am so worried about my daughter's state of mind. She cried all throughout the night, so what happened was... He showed up last night and told her that she's leaving for Sahalin, I think, or to Murmansk. I'm not trying to start a fire here. He came to say goodbye to her. No, he's right in front of me. In all his youthful bravado. Tell the bride to calm down because the groom was with me. Yes. Aren't you supposed to be at sea? Well, it was kind of stormy. 
What do you mean by C? Vladimir, is there a problem? Let me handle this. Please go. What are your plans now? Hmm. Oh, you're worried about the wedding. Are you that desperate to eat cake? Listen. What's the matter with you? Why don't we talk it over? You know, like father and son. Well, the thing is that you're not my father. What's that? What? Am I not allowed to have my dad's portrait in my room? This is my apartment. It's my mom's apartment, if I'm not mistaken. It wasn't hung properly, so it fell. I guess I nailed it wrong. Just do it quickly. I don't get why anyone would call this early. Hello? Tatiana. Huh? Riza, why are you panting? Something happened to Natalia. What? She's bleeding. Come over here, please. Oh my goodness. Do I have to hang up the phone for you too? It wasn't me. 